Hi Sag, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm here to give you a general energy reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. For anyone new to the channel, welcome. Join a family. I would absolutely love for you to be a part of our family. Um, so make sure that you hit that notification bell. And if you guys are returning, welcome back family. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, most high. Please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel messages for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return any negative energy back to sender. 20 million fold. And anyone out there showing me love. Much love and light to you. What do we have for Sagittarius? Some of you guys may be dealing with someone that you feel is a energy vampire. This may be someone that you have children with. Also, I'm picking up a lot of sexual energy for someone here. What does this have to do with Sagittarius? The warrior. Wow. I feel um, intuitively, guys. And this might come off weird, but this is what I'm channeling here. Um, so... I feel like for someone here, there could be a situation where you may have lost a child. And this is, I'm saying this very empathetically, you know, my, my truest condolences. But I feel like whoever I'm channeling for, you've been through a lot someone may have lost a child or there could be issues with the wound uh, such as like ovarian issues also I don't know why I'm picking this up I don't like the way this feels um I'm also picking up some type of abortion energy. Uh, so this may be past. Uh, something happened here. And I feel like whatever happened, this child, this wound, this situation, is something that you or the person that you're dealing with or someone that you or your person is connecting with. It's something that they've been holding on to for a long time. Wow. All right, Spirit, tell me more. Somebody may, uh, there's a lot of uh, energy revolving around pregnancy and things somebody could definitely be getting their tubes tied or there could even be a situation for somebody that I'm channeling for where it's like they need to communicate something I feel like someone is getting a, a marriage offer or a proposal or something and their partner may not be aware that they're not that they're having issues with fertility. 
Uh, this could have something to do with the Gemini Libra Aquarius. Wow. Okay. Tell me more about what is currently going on for Sagittarius. I feel like you may have been dealing with someone, either a Virgo, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like this person missed an opportunity with you. Um, I feel like they did something that they regret. And now you're withdrawn. What did this person do in regards to Sagittarius? They may have showed emotions or love to another person, but made you feel isolated. Also, this person could have definitely hindered your finances or your stability in some kind of way. Whether they got you evicted, fired from a job, something of that sort. There's a reason, even though there's a lot of love here, that you're not talking to someone or you're not dealing with someone. I feel like you are... Very intelligent, um, and you definitely don't want to be, yeah, Eight of Cups, you don't want to be affiliated with this type of energy. You had to let go of a situation with someone that you really loved. This person was hindering you, um, your stability, because of their lack, lack of morals, lack of stability um they may be unemployed at this time who is this person that's on sagittarius my spirit tell me the person that's on sagittarius's mind someone that disappointed you could be an aquarius this person could be very arrogant they may have even stole something from you Here's these fertility issues. I feel like this person was very, like, obsessive. Like, they were just smothering you. Um, paranoid. Paranoid about being left behind. Paranoid that you will find a better opportunity in love. Tell me what this person's paranoid about. They're paranoid about the fact that you're giving up on the situation. Yeah. Um, you see this person for being manipulative, even narcissistic for some of you guys. They ruined their reputation with you. And this person could have put you in some type of toxic environment or situation or even if you have children may have put them in some type of inappropriate situation they were secretly smashing somebody at their job yeah wow okay hmm What is the person on Sagittarius's mind currently thinking and feeling when it comes to Sagittarius? 
What are they currently thinking and feeling when it comes to Sagittarius? I feel like they're planning something. It's like they know they ruined their reputation with you. Um, you don't even see this person of a person with as a person with morals or values. You just look at them like very low vibrational. They definitely have wild thoughts when it comes to you. What are their wild thoughts? Wow, it's like they wanted to play you before you play them or they felt like you played them before they I don't know what this is. This could also be you Sagittarius knowing that you're with somebody that you can't really trust or something and you could be thinking about I ain't even gonna say it but you already know. They feel like they feel at home with you. And they miss you when you're not around them. They feel like you do all the things that they like. Except for some things. Uh, when it comes to being sexual. I feel like there's some things that uh, side of them that they've never exposed to you. Yeah, you got unsatisfied here. So I feel like All right. So I'm I'm a, I'm going to keep it all the way G with you. So if you're meeting someone new, like you're dating someone new and you guys are kicking it, right? They feel like you're not confident. And this could be for a lady that I'm channeling for. You know, whatever it is. Um, you know, it could be you may be on the heavier side. Or it could be you just don't feel like you know what you're doing. I don't know what it is. I'm just throwing things out there. But if you're dealing with a new person... Like, this person really likes you. And they want you to be more confident. Um, because they're starting to push them away. So, for example, if you don't like a certain part of your body, you could be standish, stand offish, right? You know, or distant, or super shy. I don't know. Something is making this person feel this way. But I feel like it's deeper than that. For a couple of you guys, you may have just been through a lot of things. And it could not have nothing to do with your body. It could have everything to do with your mind. But there's something, like, especially in a new connection, that's like making this person second guess this connection. For an old connection, um, I feel like this person tried to flip things like they would make it seem as though you were being insecure cure when you question certain things or you had a lack of confidence and this is the reason why they held back but really they may have held back ghosted not came home sometime because they were wanting multiple options they were not satisfied with just having you um so this person could be having financial issues where they feel like they need multiple options they may have a better, and I got a confirmation here. They may have a better sexual experience with, yeah, watching too much porn. They could have a better sexual experience with one option, angel number 1414. 14, 14, and the other option may be more stable financially. So it's like they, at any, at a, any given moment, it's on to the next with this person. And I feel like a lot of you guys have, yeah, friends on. Like, so a lot of you guys have um, disconnected from this person. For some of you guys, whoever I'm channeling for, you're not even friends with that person. But this newer person could be drifting off because of some type of insecurity. Or this is you. 
they see you as being very innocent and fresh. And I feel like there's somebody that admires you. They're saying that you're the best they ever had. And they're confirmation. They're addicted to your body. So if you're a lady, ladies. Even if you're not a lady, but I'm picking up a channel. I'm channeling for a lady. Love yourself. No matter how you may come. Care for yourself and treat yourself well. Always constantly work on improving yourself, but love who you are. Because, baby, you are the bomb. And it ain't nothing wrong with you. Whatever you might got going on. But I love you guys. Much love and light. Peace.